Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be... Can I do color swap? Yes. Excellent. Upper right-hand corner, we have Koget starting as the red Terran. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Christiger, a Christiger, starting as the blue Zerg. This is Fighting Spirit Mania, round one. And I'm just kind of going through doing random replays from here. What's interesting is, is looking over the Koget replays, it looks like Koget swapped between a lot of different races in round one. Because I'll just put it out there, uh, he is a much better player than Christiger. And I'm guessing, from what I understand, most of the round one games ended up being 16 uh, 0. And I'm going to also throw this out there. So, round two, I have asked to do Masuchi versus Rancor as a set match. Um, I can ask that for. I can ask. Uh, I can r say, hey, can you make that spoiler free for me? and run through that, which would be a whole lot of Rancor Masuchi, which is ZVZ, which could be fun. Or I can just kind of do a smattering of the matches from round one, round two, uh, and just cover a whole bunch of different ones across all the matches. For the viewership, let me know. I have a feeling that people would rather see um, that. I'm also tempted to just do that and, I mean, I got, there's a lot of replays to work through and no BSL right this second and nothing else that's looming. So anyway, looks like we are seeing a extract trick with a nine pool, by the way, from Christopher bottom left hand corner. Interior base barracks in the upper right hand for Koget. But anyway, Koget actually haven't been able to do a replay of him thus far. He's an extremely strong Polish player. It feels like Poland just has so many good players. It's not even fair. You've got Boneth out there. You've got, yeah, Koget. Maybe that's what it is, is you just have the practice pool is just so strong right in that region. Looks like he's going to scout upper left-hand corner first. Drone moving out to go ahead and plant. I think this is, is this scouting drone or is this there? Yeah, scouting drone going at, or sorry, drone moving out to go ahead and plant the hatchery. Initial six zerglings have been produced. And unfortunately, Koget doesn't have eyes on this as of yet. So it is possible that with, here's the problem. Oh, upper left-hand corner has not been scouted. I'm not sure if that SCV got spotted by Christiger. So it is possible that Christiger could just move these Zerglings straight upper right-hand corner and go right for the base. And it looks like Koget actually did plop down that command center behind this, paused it, now building a bunker. So now it's gonna be a race between these Zerglings getting position, getting a surround on that bunker and the Marine's ability to get into that bunker. And also there's gotta be a ramp block behind this. A couple additional SCVs off the line to support. Marine immediately in there just as the Zerglings arrive, trying to turn around and kill that SCV scout and not able to do so, and immediately Koget also blocking the ramp. The Zerglings trying to end around, but you can just see the quality of play from Koget. Can't even harass the command center from being built. Just shows you how amazing Koget is. The Zerglings trying to get a surround to at least delay that command center from being built. Looks like they are able to get a single SCV, but it cost them four of their brethren, and instead now, ooh, they're gonna wander out, SCV attacking, one Marine does get wiped out in the midst of this, but Christiger, now down to 11 drones, just now saturating that additional base, and has gone for an in-base third hatchery. Also looking out in chat, like you know, I'll spring up, yeah, Zero also out there in Poland land. Poland is really, yeah. Would it be I mean, Korea, obviously, Brood War Capital, but as far as, like, foreigner Brood War Capital, there's strong arguments for Poland, yeah? Just gonna put that out there. Refinery being grabbed by Koget. Second Barracks just playing kind of the straight safe match. Looks like he still managed to get that SCV scout on there. Lair morphing here for Christiger, so going for some sort of three-base play. It is possible he can rotate back towards Lurker, and is just trying to... But usually this is going to be three hatch Mutalisk. Right now the barracks remaining a little bit silent. Looks like an engineering bay being plopped down ahead of the academy. I'm not sure the academy is as is needed because of just having this SCV scout in this back corner. Specifically getting the layer timing. Six more Zerglings produced, and Koget still managing to keep this SCV scout alive. Uh, and sneak it through the lines. Ooh, having a little bit of trouble as he's going along that corner. 
at this stage, you have to assume that it is going to be Mutalisk rather than Hydralisk. But the Lair finishing, SCVs dying in the main. Kogit has two very well-saturated bases. This Bunker in a nice position as well. And he's going to go for a level one weapons upgrade. Academy about halfway finished. So this is kind of an interesting variation on that early plus one play. Single Creek Colony being planted, which s suggests, and so this is going to get scouted as well, it suggests that Christiger is thinking about being a little bit more aggressive with Mutalisk play. The SCV not able to get up the ramp, but this is very telling. Usually suggests more aggressive Mutalisk play, but Kogit, he's going to have that level one weapons along the way. He's getting his commsat station in the midst of this. Stimpak also being upgraded. Should have all of that before the Mutalisks arrive in his base. Christiger following this up with a slew of drone production. Able to catch up rapidly in the worker count. But still, with the medic marines that are in place and two additional barracks being plopped down. So this it looks like this is actually turning into a plus one. So five barracks plus one attack against three hatch. Comsat dropping, which is, I think, what was considered the counter. This was Flash's counter build to the three hatch style. Level one weapons about halfway finished. Stimpak is going to finish up. Haven't seen it in a while, interestingly, even though players have been opting three hatching. Their initial meal is being produced, but this this tends to just be a build order win, without some extreme micromanagement skills. Against it. This is kind of the general feeling, I think, in the community, which is why three hatch play has been all but abandoned in favor of two hatch play between that and the 1 1 1 builds. Missile turret being built towards the main. Another comsat being dropped by Kogat. Just checking how many Sutton colonies are being placed on the main. And it looks like it is going to be three Sutton colonies. The Mutalisks are making their way out, but level one weapons is not that far away, and these Marines just have to go ahead and find these mutalisks. Some zerglings pocketing at the 3 o'clock location. This is going to be a lot of marines produced behind this. Turret. And it really because of the plus one weapons and because of so many additional marines being flooded out, Kogat can play a little bit lighter on the turret position, but he does have one over the corner. Overlord getting kind of snuck and here's the problem for Christiger. Is Christiger, yeah, he has that Mutalisk attack that he can send out. Maybe he's just going to try to go all in with the Mutalisks here. It looks like that is the case. He has plopped down a... I know, I take that back. Dropping more creep colonies. An evolution chamber on the front. And he's getting level one weapons, but he still made no movements towards a third. So he's basically hoping he can shell up and that Kogit won't test that front. And he can just macro behind this. Full control group of Mutalisks. Level 1 Weapons is there, looking to harass this. Still haven't gotten a shot off from the Marines. Kogat walking into this loses a, a slew of Marines right there. But the barracks are humming. Also grabbing a... Now that Level 1 Weapons is finished, getting that plus 1 armor. is marching his way out towards the main. That evolution chamber isn't going to be long for life. The Mulus is diving in with the Zerglings. Able to get some damage done there. One Mutalisk getting picked off by the turret. But with those Mutalisks out of position, Kogat testing this front door. And already able to take out three Sutton colonies without the Mutalisk support. Hydralisk getting wiped out. A Mutalisk diving back. It looks like a turret was wiped out, but more Marines able to push back in. And the Medic Marines just pressing into the natural expansion now. A Desperation Sutton colony being dropped. In the natural, but the Hydralisks trying to morph into Lurkers. I don't know that they're going to be able to save that natural in time, though. The Mutalisks finally getting back to home base, but their health is plummeting with that plus one weapons. Four Mutalisks left in the air. Let's see if these medics can evacuate behind this. But even if Christiger holds back this attack force, these medics are going to walk right back and join this incoming Marine force. And right now, Kogit sitting at nearly double the supply of Christiger. Christiger losing additional Mutalisks. Comps adding, taking out that Lurker on the front. Evolution Chamber is going to get popped. The Natural Expansion is no longer mining for Christiger as well. So basically, this is one base versus two base Terran. Additional Comps being planted just to punch through this. 
Sunken Colony gets popped almost immediately. And that natural expansion hatchery is going to plummet. More Comsat cleaning up what lurkers managed to burrow. But the natural expansion is flooded. And that is GG from Christiger. So Koget showing uh, true to force that he is as a Terran. Um... Debating doing other matches from this Koget thing. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Kind of peruse around. Or Chris Tiger. That's another way to yeah say this. Chris Tiger is another way to... I think it is Chris Tiger. Ooh. Uh, move on to another match from Fighting Spirit Mania. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for listening.